it's Allie Hardesty. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another story time video. This is something that happened to me literally four days ago and I'm so excited to tell you guys because I don't understand. Like you're gonna see what I'm talking about by the end of this video and please get me your feedback and let me know what you think happened because it's kind of a mystery. It all started back in September. My ex Gabe and I, the one featured in the How I Got Cheating on story time, and our friend Brandon, we all went in and got these rafts together. There was like two of them, mid-size, good for lounging out on the lake. Gabe and I weren't on speaking terms at this point, so I wanted to use the rafts, but I didn't want to have to talk to him or see him. It was just going to be weird. And I was at the skate park one day. There's this kid there. We're going to call him Josh. Josh knew Gabe. They were cool because they both were skate park homies or something. And he was like yo like I'll get the rafts for you I can just tell him that they're for me then like it won't be a problem I'm like oh you don't have to do that but if you could get me the rafts like either way that's super dope yeah thank you so we meet up later that day I go get the rafts from his house it was already weird to begin with because he had sent me a text message being like oh I'm not home go to my side yard and just grab them I go there he ends up being home but they're not in the side yard so he comes out he gives me the raft from the garage and it's not the rafts I was trying to get it was this huge, huge, like 150 pound raft. It took three people to get it in the car and then back into my dorm. Like it was so, so heavy. The only like logical explanation in my brain was like, Gabe must have got new rafts. And I told Josh that I'm like, this wasn't the raft I got with him, but I guess it doesn't matter. You know, we're just borrowing it and we'll give it back. So we didn't end up using it. Finally, it was taking up so much space in here and I just wanted to like give it back to him. So I tried to contact Josh being like, Hey, thanks for letting us borrow your raft. I'm sorry we didn't get around to using it, but like I'll go back to you. When should I come drop it off? He never responded. I didn't think much of it. I'm like, okay, maybe he's busy. Maybe he's grounded. Like he's in high school. I don't know. So more time passes. I ended up seeing Gabe. Like we, he and I talked. And when I was talking to him, I said, look, I have a confession. I have your raft. Josh didn't really borrow it from you. Like it was me and I still have it. And I can't get a hold of Josh. So like, can I give it back to you? He was so confused. I showed him the raft even, he's like, that's not mine. Like, what are you talking about? And he knows who Josh is, but he's like, Josh never contacted me. Or I think Josh did contact him, but he never actually came to get the raft. So I was like, whatever, I guess this kid just lied. Don't know why he lied about that though. Like really, 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 really weird. And now he won't talk to me. I'm thinking like, hey, it's probably just his dad's raft or something like that before this. He would hit me up all the time, Snapchat, Instagram, uh, text message, call me, even he would talk to my friends, like he was just our cool little homie. So I text Josh saying, yo, this isn't Gabe's raft, like I'm not mad, but I'm just curious, whose is it, dude, like what's going on? He blocks my number, like I call him, he either changed his number or blocked mine, and I wasn't sure, so then I DM'd him on Instagram, and he blocked me on Instagram, like after he read the DM so weird like he just was totally avoiding me like didn't want anything to do with me didn't want to answer my question about whose raft it was or like how he acquired this raft so my friends and I we were all had this huge insider like oh maybe there's a dead body in there that's why it's so heavy maybe there's stolen drugs in there whatever so it's just been sitting in my dorm and I was getting sick of it I wanted to get rid of it so last week I put it on Craigslist put it up there for free I've never used Craigslist before and I was a little like apprehensive about it you know you hear people getting raped on there and murdered and kidnapped and stuff when I looked up like the model slash brand of the raft which was in text on the bag and like the raft of what I could see when I opened the bag and the pump it looked like it was really really like high demand good quality and so I put it on there for like 75 bucks I'm like oh sweet didn't expect anyone to hit me up like six people contacted me everyone wanted it I guess it was a really good deal like there's used ones that go for like $400 this one guy's like hey my wife and I own our own rafting company and I'll give you 85 can I come get it tomorrow I'm like sure that works so Alexis here I won't let her leave because I'm like I don't know this is sketchy I've never used Craigslist before at this point I'm thinking like okay if this guy's weird I could probably make this into a pretty cool YouTube story time no it, the guy was normal what was weird was what happens after that he gets here super cool dude he gives me the money I give him the raft and the pump and he's like really excited about it when he leaves he even texts me just being like thank you so much like this is gonna like do so much for my business and like this is just what we needed like this is like the perfect raft and so it made me feel really good I'm like awesome like now I don't have to wor ever worry about it again and I had a feeling though because I went to like delete all the people's texts that were texting me about the raft and like t or tell them like I didn't have it anymore 
but for him like I saved the contact number because I even told him like hey if there's something wrong with it I'll refund you so I saved his contact name just in case a few hours go by he calls me back he's like hey I'm really sorry to say this but do you think there's any way I could get a refund uh we opened the bag the raft was just completely destroyed like there was no way we could have fixed it or patched it up like someone had taken a razor blade to the raft the razor blade was still in there it was just cut up and down everywhere someone completely went at that thing for a minute I was thinking like maybe he's just saying that to get his money back which it doesn't matter it's not about the money I really just wanted to get rid of that thing and he sent me pictures though it looked like it was something out of CSI or like Criminal Minds. It looked like a crime scene. It looked like a murder scene. Like someone had literally destroyed the raft. And when I put the disclaimer in the box, I was thinking at most there'd be like a hole in it because they were using it to go boating or something. No, someone on purpose, like psychotically went and like stabbed this thing and like shredded it. Who does that? It was like a super nice raft. And why would he let me borrow it then? Like, why did he give it to me? He obviously had to, had to have known because he blocked me. I don't know if it was stolen property. I don't understand. I don't get it. So if you understand, please finish the story time for me. Put it in the comment section below. Whoever answers the best, I will shout you on my next video because I would love to know. Please humor me, enlighten me. Why was the raft like that? I felt really bad because the guy was super nice and he was really nice when he came and uh, got the money back and everything too. I was like, I promise I didn't do it on purpose. I'm not crazy. I'm so sorry. I literally didn't know I've never used the raft, so. Don't know if I'll ever use Craigslist again or if I do use Craigslist, I'm probably going to put stuff on there that was actually mine to begin with so I know it's not stolen slash used to kill someone or something. I don't get it. What happened to the kid? I don't know. He just fell off the face of the earth. Like, bye Josh. He just left. No one has heard from him since. I'm gonna track down this kid and find him and be like, yo, whose raft did you steal? Who did you kill? Because I almost sold that to some guy and good thing he was cool about it because if he was like a jerk, he could have, I don't know, been super mad, thought I did it on purpose. That's my story about how I may or may not have sold stolen property on Craigslist. Please, if someone can give me a logical explanation for why that happened to the raft, or why there was a razor in there, or why the kid never spoke to me again, let me know in the comment section below. I hope you guys are all having a spectacular day. My channel has been growing a lot lately. Like, I, even if I don't post every day, like, people are on there subscribing and liking and commenting my videos. So that means so much to me. I've been wanting to do YouTube for a really long time, and I'm really excited that I've finally gotten into it. And I'm going to continue doing this all year long. And let me know in the comments what my next video should be. If you guys want to see more vlogs, more story times, Q&As, something different, a challenge. I take all of your feedback into consideration and I try to upload videos as often as I can. I'm also going to link the bridge jumping video below here because you can see the rafts in the video that I was trying to get to use, but the kid gave me other ones. So thanks for watching you guys. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and click the subscribe button below. I love all you guys so much. Have a great day. Bye.